Hey, how's it going guys? Today I got another video for you and this time we're going to be doing another achievement, but this one actually awards the title. So it's a two-part title, the first one, What a Ripoff, and the second one, Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Goblins, which rewards the title, The Gullible. Now, I already have the achievements as you've seen, but I leveled another character and I wanted to show you it again, since for some reason I didn't record it the first time. So you're going to be here at Talon Rest and you're going to accept that quest and you have to go kill some wolves. Now, I'm not going to show you me killing everything because it doesn't need to be done. I'm just going to show you what not to do. So, these guys hit for a shitload, like 40 plus thousand each. I just got hit for 107,000 for whatever fucking reason. I died pretty quick. So, be careful. Don't pull too much unless you're a tank. You, you could probably get away with it. As you can see, there's all the, the numbers. And then I also got hit for some six digits. So, just be very careful of that. Otherwise, go ahead and kill your 10. Alright, so we're going back, and as you can see, there's two goblins there now. Uh, they're up to something, and the story will unfold very quickly. Uh, go ahead, turn in your quest. It doesn't matter what you pick. I just picked what I didn't pick last time. The outcome is going to be the same, so don't really worry about it. So you're going to take these two quests. you got to go kill some goats, and then you got to go kill a bird, which is pretty hard to kill. At least I had trouble by myself, so I had to bring a tank in just to help me. Alright, so we're there. I didn't show the goats, but I do want to show a little bit of this. Uh, just to kind of tell you guys to watch out because he does hit both of you, but it isn't too crazy damage. Uh, if you have a tank, like I had my buddy come help me because he already did this part of the quest, but he was nice enough to, you know, come give me a, a hand. So there's the AoE he does. Isn't too horrible, but it does kind of take a while to kill if you don't put out damage. At the time of this video, I had 784 item level. So it was really low, I just hit 110, super fresh, only have done two dungeons, I think, normals. So it it can take a little while, if not, go into the group finder and, and find somebody to help you with the quest. Alright, so we're coming back, and if you pay attention, they'll have little, uh, I guess, text right there um, to kind of understand what happened to the Turins. If you haven't guessed it, they they killed them, basically. There's a tree somewhere. But I didn't really find it that has a bunch of dead Turin bodies. Pretty fucked up if you ask me actually, but it's, it's still a pretty cool quest line. So you're going to accept these two quests. I'm showing you where they are on the map. The Stone Fang might need somebody, but the Moshan Ribs or whatever it was called, you shouldn't need any help there. Alright, so we're here. Stone Fang. I wanted to show you a little bit of this too. Got my buddy to come help me again. Um, he will do the normal stun that these guys are very known for in Legion. And he'll also be putting down a crystal that does a big chunk of your health as AoE damage, and I think it's constant. So if you're the tank, make sure you're kind of moving him around just so nobody dies. Alright, so we're back again. We are almost done with the first part of it. As you can see, he's saying they're starting to smell, so I think they're somewhere around here under a tree. Uh, turn in your quest again, doesn't matter what you pick. You're going to turn in this one, and you're going to get one more quest to go kill Steel Scale, which you're also probably going to need a tank to help you with. Alright, so we're here. Again, just going to show you a little bit of the fight. Uh, there is a thing you can interrupt. I forget what it's called, but it's a very obvious interrupt. Um, he does a good amount of damage. If you're not tank, you may be able to burst him down. If you have... There it is right there, the Steel Scales. Uh, if you don't have enough... Uh, or if you have enough damage, you could probably burst him down. Otherwise, again, either get a tank or go into the group finder. So, we're going here, and as you can see, they're not here anymore. You turn it into a little uh, paper. And above me, they're flying away, and, and we got fucked. And there's an item that will let you, uh, like, look at the items that you got to turn them into crap, basically. I'll show you that in a little bit. So next, you're going to want to head to Dalaran, but you have to be 110 for this part. The last part you didn't have to be, this part you do have to be. So you go talk to him and you will get a choice between one of the 820 items. Pretty good uh, quest item if you ask me. That'll get you into some heroics with other gear of course. Uh, so there I am examining the stuff. After I examined this stuff I just destroyed the lens because I don't really think you need it for anything. Um, there's some goblin gear and you know maybe some role player could probably get some use out of that. I don't know. Maybe, maybe in Goldshire you could probably... Probably gets a use for that. So there's where you're going to have to go. Alright, so we're here. And unfortunately, I found a, a group. Which sounds good. Because these guys are super hard. 10 million health each. You need like 8 
2830 item level just to solo these guys. My warrior did it as Fury. Um, I was waiting for, I didn't, okay, so apparently I fucking left way too much. I didn't think I was. Uh, so I'll just go ahead and start describing the fight because I kind of get in there a little too late. So Alliance apparently tagged the guy on the ship. So it's a two part. You have to kill the guy down there and then the guy on the ship. I thought I flew up there and hit him, but I guess I didn't. But you don't need to apparently because we killed the guy on the ground and that was enough to get the key. So when you're killing the guy on the ground, the person on the ship will throw bombs at you. Don't stand in the area. It's really easy to avoid. Uh, but if you are on the ground, he will do a couple attacks. He'll do the rocket up right there. He will do a flamethrower in front of him. And he will also go haywire, which you will see here in a second, that does a crap load of damage. So if you don't have a way to somehow defend against it, yeah, right there, 115,000 nature damage every so many seconds. Uh, you're probably going to die. I almost die, even with a healer here. Uh, so kill him. And then you can go up to the ship and kill the guy up there. I found that easier. Uh, and the guy up there, his like special ability, because Haywire is his, is he just rapidly shoots, but you can stun him out of it. You could also have stunned him before he did the thing. But, you know, as a DK, I only have one stun. That's for my pet, and he already used it because it's on auto. So, you know, kind of my bad there. Uh, so go ahead, kill both of them. Look how fucking close I got. 45,000 health pretty damn close but i didn't die because you know total badass so i looted it surprisingly got the key uh you're gonna go to the left there's gonna be a really big treasure chest you turn it in you will get your 820 item and you will get a like little bag and you will get the gullible title which i think is a pretty cool title you know i, I like funny titles more than anything else uh so you know that's that there's the lock stock there's the little thing of resources oh quite a bit of shit some stuff that sells for like 32 gold, 24 gold. Pretty nice to have. And then there's the achievement right there. Only gives you 5 points. Kind of weird for how hard it is, but I'm not complaining. Uh, and then I will put on the gullible title just to show you. Even though there's nothing really to show. It's the gullible title. Uh, but that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see y'all next time.